before I get into the functions of how to do this, I do want to show you what the difference is between long and wide data. So essentially, wide data is something like this data frame right here. It's where a lot of different properties are just done within columns here. So you have like the species and then you have four of its property within the same row as it. And this is going to be wide data. This is really helpful if you just want to get like means of each of these columns or you want to be able to compare one column to another. However, long data looks a little bit more like this. So essentially what we're doing is we have a species and then each species only really has one um, property per row. So you can see that this same species has multiple different properties over here. And you can see that instead of it just being the different properties as columns here, you have a column that tells you what the property is and then a column that tells you what the value is. So you can see the sepal length is here and if we scroll down, this eventually turns into sepal width and then it'll turn into petal length and petal width. So instead of it being across, it's actually down instead. And now whenever you're doing this in this case, you probably would actually want to include the index number here whenever you're switching back and forth, simply because you don't know now in this case whether this sepal length belonged to which one of the sepal widths. So if you're trying to compare like an individual flower, you need to actually be able to index it whenever converting it into long data. But this can be really helpful because if you want to show data in certain ways, so if you want to create a grouped bar graph, that's far easier to do with long data than it is to do with wide data. But when you're storing information, it's usually better to store it in wide data or when you're comparing between rows, it's better to look at that in wide data. So you want to actually be able to convert between long and wide data. So in the next couple lessons, I'm going to be showing you how to convert between those and know that these are not inverse functions. So if you run one, you're not always going to be able to rerun the inverse to be able to get it back. You really have to think about what you're doing with each of these functions to be able to do this. But I just wanted to give you a little bit of an introduction into what long data is and what wide data is.